Hey everybody, it's Wiffle Pitch 1212 here, and this is one of my three scuffs. This is thanks to Wiffler28 and Wiffleboy28 for the scuff. They helped me out with it. This is a cement and a knife ball. Um, what you're, what you're going to want to do is go go to a sidewalk, um, driveway, or a back porch, whatever is hard and can uh, scratch a surface. Um, yeah, You could even use sandpaper if you have to. But... Yeah, and which and you're gonna go out, spend f fifteen twenty minutes. That's what I usually do per ball, cause I honestly don't leave an inch unscratched, <laughs> and it's gonna take you a long while. Um, as you can see, I re reposition myself, cause it's gonna take a while. <laughs> and right now, I cut out a little bit of it, but this is this is just me. Um checking if there's any space unscratched and when I find it I just unscratch it and I'm done with the scuffing part um this is the original like uh scuff ball I mean a uh, cement ball you could just stop here this is what beginners use because I used to use this when I first started riffling and but you could get more advanced with it you either use a screw or a knife I personally use a knife I'm I'm better with it, really. And you're gonna make a 12 by 12 box pattern on the top. And you have to make the lines as straight as possible. And bear with me, guys, because I'm using a dull knife, but it gets the job done for me. And I'm gonna speed it up now. In which you're gonna make a 12 by 12, and you have to make the lines as straight as possible. Um, I like being neat with my, uh, my scratching and I'll, I'll make probably one error sometimes on mine, and that's okay. You can make a little bit of an error, and it'll be all right. And as you can see in the bottom half of the ball, I make the lines too close together, but it's okay. And so I start going the other way and making the box pack, box portion. And you're going to have to make this perpendicular to the other lines you made. So I'm going to speed this up, and... Um, yeah, speed it up and okay, now I'm done. Now you can see I have a 12 by 12 box pattern on top, and we're not done with the knifing portion yet because now we need to start making the three axes you could make a box pattern i know some people that make a box pattern i personally don't like it but i use the three x's uh you don't have to have three x's you get a four or five as many as you can make in between the little holes or the oblong holes i should say sorry um and i'm almost complete um i try to make the x's even even like proportional, um, proportional, no, not proportional, sorry, uh, I make the first one a little, the middle one a little bigger, and the last one a little bigger, or the biggest, um, next you're gonna have to go up to wood, a wood surface, and not even wood, you can go up to cement, I don't know, uh, cinder block, or, uh, brick, and just rub it to smooth it out, um, yeah, I'm using my wood floor, but it's beat up, so it's not going to make a difference in the scratching. Um, so I'm almost complete with the ball. This is the last step you're going to have to do. Um, yeah, this, this is the last thing you're going to have to do. Uh, this pitch, it's good for every pitch. You could get everything out of this. And message me or Wiffler28 on the scuff. Alright, see you guys.